Hello, thank you. Um, actually, I decided to forgo slides entirely, just that I can squeeze a thought, a single thought into these five minutes. A thought uh, about something that Sousa cares about. And let me start with the story. It was um, in the 90s sometime, still before my Sousa time, um, that two friends of mine were developing a, an interesting project. It was a hardware project. It was a free space optic device that would allow a 10 megabit bandwidth across a couple hundred of meters for internet connection. Uh, it was in the time of dial-up, so that was actually pretty amazing. And they had it working, and they wanted to attract the community to it. Some, somebody that would help them to actually expand it and make it work better. So they were coming to me and, and said, well, you know, we saw this open source software movement. We want to do something like that. And I said, OK, well, then you just publish the source for your device, and that's it, right? But what is the source for a hardware device? So initially, they just published the list of materials, all the steps that you needed to make the device, uh, the, the, the actual um, photos of the machine. And well, nobody really did that, because nobody did understand how it works. So then they talked to me, OK, but that's not enough. You actually need to go deeper. You need to publish at least the schematics. <laughs> um, so the schematics was out. It was actually done in a nice open source, um, open data format, such that you could use open source tooling to do all the steps to create a printed circuit board and make your device. And still, that didn't work. So they were flabbergasted, right? There was, there was all, all, all out there, and there was nothing. And so the last thing, actually, you need to explain why it works the way, you, the, the way it works. Why have you designed it? Why have you added this particular component here and that particular component there? Because without that understanding, nobody can really expand on it. And actually, that worked. That device became rather successful until, well, Wi-Fi came around. Um, and it was a happy project. So, where that brings me, um, if you are doing open source, it is important to be open. It is important to actually give out everything that you have, all the thoughts that go into, the, that go into your project, uh, not just the source itself. Fortunately, today we have um, source code repositories. We have Git. We have Subversion. We have all those. So actually, a lot of that thought goes right into the commit commands. So the GPL actually nicely captures that you need to share your source code. The GPL v3 actually nicely captures the fact that what the source code is, that it is actually the form of the code that is the easiest for modification. But still, it does not tell you that the one component that is also needed is the how component. How do you come to these conclusions? How do you actually find out that this is the best software, this is the best way to do it? And well, that's the message that I want to share today. Actually, I'm also a manager, right? And so I've been taught that if I want to keep a, uh, a developer, a employee working for me, I need to teach them everything they need to know for their next job. And then they will not leave because they are all, all safe. So it's the same thing for your project. You actually need to give out everything for people to be able to fork it. And that's what makes it healthy. Um, once more about SUSE. We actually do practice that. At least we try. <laughs> and so when uh, my department is releasing the Linux kernel for customers, obviously paying customers, we also release the sources. And we don't just release the SRPM with um, one big tarball of kernel sources and one huge patch of what we have changed, but we actually already during development make public or of our internal Git repositories so that you can see what and why we changed along the road to make an enterprise quality distro. You actually are able to replicate all that if you like. And so again, the message to you is uh, it's the nature of people. It's the nature of business that people try to keep the secret sauce to themselves. Don't do that. It is counterproductive. If you see walled gardens being built uh, for contribution, if you see that customers are actually not treated as potential contributors to the project, tear down those wall gardens and always think about 
being open. Thank you.